Hello and welcome back everyone to another episode of the Geek Tech Show. In today's video, we're going to be checking out two different self-defense weapons. Actually, one different self-defense weapon, but I'm really going to be comparing it to this one, the Woto PPQ. This is a really a good one that I have tested out and I really actually like it. And because I like it, I have decided to get this one, which is the Brianna self-defense tool right here. And this specific one, it's much more lightweight. It's supposedly built to be a self-defense weapon. It does use a big old caliber right here, which is the biggest one that I could find that you can shoot balls with, that is paintball size. Actually a little bit bigger than that. And it has a very nice ammo rack right here. So we're gonna be checking this out. You're going to be looking at this, doing the unboxing, and of course you're going to be really knowing at the end of the video what is the rating that I'm going to be giving for this gun and if I recommend it for you to be using it for your own self-defense needs. Let's get started right now. So this is the unboxing video of the Bo Irina, weird name. Inside here there's actually an extra packet here with a silica gel. Then we have this sticker. Instructions booklet. For you to read. And this one is all in English. We have a card for us to use. And it says not a firearm under federal law. I don't know why this is necessary, and it says TSA approved. So inside we have the following, and you have different kits. The one I got has the kinetic, it got another kinetic, because that's the only thing that's legal in the state, and in inert powder. Now, the gun, the weapon itself, comparable to another one right here. So this is the Smith & Watson. And you can see this has way bigger hole on the front than this one. They look almost identical, but there is a lot of differences between them. This is more plastic. This is a lot more metal, especially in the barrels. And this one, there is metallic parts here too. Like this is all metallic right here, aluminum in this part, aluminum right here, and rubble. It does not feel as well made as the Smith and Watson that actually is this is the PPK Woto I think it was made by the Smith Smith and Watson actually no it's not <laughs> but this one definitely is better made the feel and the quality they do have a Smith and Watson version of it too this is not the one this is PPQ uh, Voto and definitely this feels a lot more better and substantial than this toy you can really feel when you put it in your hands this feels like a real gun this doesn't and yet this does shoot bigger projections right out of this thing now to get it out you press on this button right here get the magazine and it does include another one spell magazine for you to use now you can buy one without the spell magazine but this one does come with it and you hold this up now you do need those for one specific use you do need one of them to open this one up so this is where the CO2 cartridge goes right into there's only one issue with this and I'll show you what it is, apart from that. 
is that the CO2 cartridge has to be made by the same company just like the balls they want you to use the same exact balls but this is there is no other choice with this metal this has to be used by this company because it, it is a mini size and I don't know if they sell it anywhere else if you do know some other place well definitely let me know you're not really supposedly to use any other company and you go and put this in and you screw this in when you screw this in it's not gonna shoot until it's ready to go which actually means that when it's time for you to actually use the weapon it automatically arms itself and then it's ready to get you know blast away right there so we have the tubes here that are included and one thing for you to understand is that if you need this you better load this up before you're going to be using it because otherwise this is not easy to open not at all there we go and this is the kinetic version unfortunately in my state I can't have the pepper balls so let's put them in just roll them up like this right in here and those things you can actually put a different one in here too and we're going to be testing this out as well using now this is a real this is a toy version the one that comes with them this thing is the real deal right here it's like it has some metal in here We just seen a walk and ship accident when this thing just shot all of them right out of here. And I never seen this happen in the previous one. So now they're all over the place. So be really careful with that. So the last one is going to be the blaster, really the, the bad one. The free one of those are going to be the regular ones. And the thing is, it's so easy for this to malfunction that it automatically just shoots them right out of here and that is something I didn't realize until I got this and I'm not sure how well this material is going to stand the test of time so it's something for you to keep really in mind when you're buying this how easily if you press on this it's just going to shoot this thing right out of here Our position thing is this thing is very inaccurate Being too good check it out no I guess it is accurate hit it in that impact went all the way into the metal that's how it works it says is it on fire you on fire so my honest opinion of this is that well first of all those balls are a little bit too lightweight and if you can substitute for some heavy weight and metal inside of it it does do a better job it's not really made for those balls but it still works for them the actual weapon itself is pretty lightweight I don't like how this doesn't go all the way in by itself um, it's easy to get it to work there was the safety and the file over here 
the magazine is on the cheap end this thing right here I think could much easy break so thank you so much for getting all the way to the end of this video and hopefully I owned a subscription from you and if even if I didn't well let me know what you think by smashing the thumbs up if you did enjoy the video now this gun I do like it for the reason why I like this thing is that it is lightweight unlike this one which is pretty much more heavy more substantial that's one thing I do like about it. it is less metal in here which is good in some ways the good thing is by this not being metallic is that it actually is more lightweight that's about it now this one right here it got less moving parts it's built like a firearm and I think it's less likely that it's going to be over time broken by actual use but on the other hand the Brianna HQ it's made out of a hundred different precision parts so if anything goes wrong over here I don't think you're gonna have two different uh, possibilities for you to repair this all by yourself you actually need a specialist for you to send this to which is sending it back to the company itself that's one of the issues apart from being a little bit more cheap I do think that if this was for 150 that, that would be a good gun but 300 bucks it is really a stretch getting this for yourself when you can get so much better self-defense weapons than this one right here overall I do think if you like this it's a good gun but I think there is better options that are much more cheaper so unfortunately I have to give this a thumbs down and specifically why the thumbs down is coming for this one is that they force you to use their own CO2 cartridges and you have to get them and also forcing you to use their own balls specifically but you can try to use other balls as well but they don't really supposed to let you use that but when it comes to the CO2 cartridge you have no other choice you gotta use the same cartridge that they sell and that's why I ultimately cannot recommend this gun because they keep on not letting third party produce things for it if this was a CO2 that you can get from anywhere and just use it this would be the really good handgun that you could actually use for self-defense and this is not an actual gun it's more like a BB kind of a it's not good enough for self-defense not good enough I, I would say it's better than nothing of course if you have to use something uh, and if this is out of pepper ball this will make it a pretty substantial weapon but in states where pepper balls is not legal well this doesn't cut it with the synthetic thing this thing is just going to bounce off your whoever you're going to be shooting at and the only one that you really should be getting is the special self-defense balls and those I don't know if they're going to be breaking this gun over time so not really recommend it as well so unfortunately I have to give this a thumbs down um, out of the stars I would say it's a 6 out of 10 rating and that's what I think of this it's up to you to decide and whatever you think make sure you post right down below in the comment section to tell me if you will be getting something like this or if you're going to be skipping and getting something else instead. Thank you.